CPBR Outline Introduction Basic Life Support Fibrillation Medication Post Resuscitation Care The Lazarus Phenomenon 6H plus 6T in all patients Main changes over previous protocol. Introduction Sudden cardiac death is unexpected natural death from a cardiac cause within one hour of onset of symptoms in a person without a previous condition that would appear fatal. Most important organ which is at the center of salvage efforts during resuscitation, during a cardiorespiratory arrest, is the brain. Basic life support. The following facts are important. Inadequate blood flow during cardiac arrest has a negative impact on survival. Long pauses in chest compression are deleterious. Excessive ventilation during cardiac arrest is harmful. Keeping these in mind, the recommended compression is to ventilation ratio has been altered to 30 is to 2 rather than 15 is to 2 at a compression rate of 100 per minute. Pauses for two ventilations are limited to one second per ventilation. Defibrillation Defibrillation is another period during which there are long pauses in chest compression. Hence, it has been recommended that a period of CPR before defibrillation, while the setup is being organized, for 90 to 120 seconds is useful. The recommended waveform of delivered energy is biphasic, impedance compensated. There is no evidence that one biphasic waveform is superior to another, nor is there any evidence that escalation of energy during repeated shocks is superior to non-escalation. Medication Only one drug is recommended, adrenaline. The evidence for the use of vasopressin in CPR is weak. The antiarrhythmic of choice is amiodarone. However, it can produce vasodilation and a reduction in perfusion pressure. This effect may be due to the solvents used, polysorbate, AT, and benzyl alcohol. To attenuate its hypotensive effect, at least one dose of adrenaline should be given before amiodarone. Post resuscitation care. Resuscitation proceeds in three major stages. 1. Recognition of the problem and initial steps. Ensure that there is no obvious danger to the rescuer, example electrical wire. Check victim for response. If he responds, leave him in a comfortable position and get help. If he does not respond, shout for help and keep airway open. Look for breathing. If breathing is present, turn to recovery position and monitor breathing. If breathing is absent, give two effective rescue breaths. Then check for circulation by palpating the carotid pulse for 10 seconds or less. If pulse present, continue rescue breathing. One breath every 5 to 6 seconds until patient starts breathing on his own. Recheck pulse every 2 minutes. Each check to take 10 seconds or less. If pulse absent, start external cardiac massage, ECM. 2. Basic life support. Ensure adequate oxygen delivery to the brain by using simple equipment such as airway devices, mask, ambu bag. 3. Advanced life support. Establish effective, spontaneous cardiac action by using electrical therapy or drugs. Medications 
medications are to be given intravenously or intraosseously. Endotrechal administration is only a third option. Adrenergic drugs should not be mixed with bicarbonate or other alkaline solutions as they are inactivated. Route of administration of drugs If a central line is available, it should be used. If a central line is not available, insertion of a central venous cannula is not necessary and should not delay basic resuscitation. Peripheral venous access can be used. A flush of 20 ml to 50 ml 0.9% saline is recommended after drug administration and elevation of the extremity through which the medication was administered is recommended. Intraosseous administration is the second route of choice. Endotracheal administration is only a third line of administration and to be used only if other access is not possible. Therapeutic hypothermia In two randomized trials in patients following a cardiac arrest, it has been shown that reducing the core body temperature to 33 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius for 12 to 24 hours improved the neurological outcome. Reduction of core temperature was achieved in one study with a cooling machine, while the second study, ice packs were used to reduce the temperature. Concomitant dialysis Emergency hemodialysis during CPR has been shown in anecdotal reports to be effective in resuscitating patients in renal failure who have had a cardiac arrest secondary to severe hyperkalemia and failed to respond to conventional CPBR. Pulseless Electrical Activity PEA PEA causes Obstruction to flow Pump failure Low volume Pulmonary embolism Myocardial Loss of blood Tension pneumothorax Infarction or trauma Loss of fluid Pericardial tamponade Inflammation or rupture The Lazarus Phenomenon This is described as a delayed return of spontaneous circulation, ROSC, after cessation of CPR and occurred usually, occurred within 10 minutes of stopping CPR, mean 7 to 8 minutes. The exact mechanism of delayed ROSC is unclear, but the postulated mechanisms are Dynamic hyperinflation due to rapid manual ventilation with inadequate time for exhalation, causing auto-peep. Delayed action of drugs. Myocardial stunning and transient acetole. Think 6H plus 6T in all patients. 6H Hypoxia Hypovolemia Hyperkalemia or hypokalemia, hypoglycemia, hydrogen ion acidosis, hypothermia, 6T, tension pneumothorax, tamponade pericardial, toxic, poisoning or envenomation, thrombosis, coronary, thrombosis, pulmonary, trauma, Myocardial contusion Main changes over previous protocol Rescue breaths given over 1 second, not 2 seconds Cardiac compressions given over center of chest Do not waste of time trying to localize precise area for compression Chest compressions are to be uninterrupted If no CPR Survival decreases by 7 to 10 percent per minute. Give 30 is to 2 by 5 cycles, 2 minutes. Before shock, one shock only, not three shocks at a time. Post shock, restart CPR 
before checking rhythm. If intubated patient, chest compression 100 per minute and respiration 10 to 12 per minute. Atropine, total dose equal to 3 milligrams. Adrenaline, every 2 minutes. Antiarrhythmic of choice, amudaron. Non-shockable rhythm, no shock to be given. Chain of intervention, CPR, shock, CPR, shock, adrenaline, CPR, shock, amidarone.